guys, it's Jill with Simply Made Unique by Jill and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a trash to treasure table in a really tropical feel. I get questions a lot about how I pick colors and designs for my tables or pieces. So we're going to go over that process today so maybe I can make it a little more clear for people how I pick colors. Maybe they'll help somebody out there pick colors or inspire somebody to go and be bold. So today that's what we're going to do. Let me get myself together and I'll be back with you in a second to show you the transfer and the colors I picked for this piece. Okay, so the first thing that I picked out that I knew I wanted to use on this table was a transfer from Aussie Decor Transfers. This is just one of the pieces out of the Flamingos 2-pack. You could see how beautiful this image is, how this flamingo has this beautiful flower on it. I want this table to be super tropical. You can see that there's bamboo accents on here. I want it to look super tropical, super fun, and super funky. I did a table like this a little while ago and it sold right away. So now I have the perfect opportunity to do another one for somebody else to love. So when I'm picking, looking at this, I look at all the colors in it. I know I don't want to do purple, but it has such beautiful pinks and almost red tones in it and almost like a purpley red tone. You have all this blue in here. You also have some orange and greens. So I first was drawn to this color from Dixie Belle paint called Plum Crazy. I think it picks up the dark accents in here and this will be the perfect for I'm thinking maybe on top of another color and then sand it through like I did with one of my other tables recently. I think the whole table is going to be in the sea glass color because the last one was and it looks perfect with this. It's just far enough off the blue and towards the light blue that's in here to be the perfect color for the whole table. And then I also wanted to use the gulf, oh nope so sorry pure ocean from Dixie Belle and put that to match these little dots in here. So that is my color schemes and we are gonna work out how they're actually gonna go onto the piece. So we're gonna paint this piece together and I can't wait to show you the end result. Now the base coat, we're gonna give this two coats of the sea glass color before we move on to our next step. Now that the whole piece is painted in the sea glass, I changed my mind. And this is what this video is about. So in the designing process, it's okay to change your mind. I changed my mind about actually what I wanted to do with this piece and how much pink I wanted to have on it and what kind of blues I wanted to have on it. So the idea for now, and we're gonna see how it goes, and it could change. I'm gonna bring the dark blue up like this to blend it out until I get to this shelf and like an ombre look and then I'll probably wash some more of it in up here or dry brush it in. So let's get the feet done first and see where it goes from there. You can see here that I'm blending the two colors, the sea glass and the darker golf color together and using a brush to blend them nicely on the leg to give it a slight ombre look just at the bottom. See how pretty that blend is starting to come out. I'm really pleased with the way this is starting to look. Now I just have to figure out what I want to do. Coming up here, how much blue, if I want to dry brush it, or if I want to wash it on. Let's find out. Now again, part of, the, part of the process is that I keep changing my mind on this piece. Now I'm thinking on the top, before I do anything else, I want to add this Art Deco Arches stencil, which looks very tropical, to the top of this piece before I put the transfer on. So I'm going to grab some white paint and we're going to stencil this on. Here I'm using a slightly off white for a muted tone and I'm putting the stencil on with a flat stenciling brush. This one happens to be by Paint Pixie, but any stenciling brush will do. Yes, that's exactly the look I am looking for. I am going to take a sanding block and sand this back some so it's a little worn before I get that transfer on there. After the stencil was dry, I added a flat clear coat before I add my transfer. I'll add another clear coat over the transfer when I'm done before I move on to the next step. Here 
here's the fun part, adding a color wash. I'm taking a spray bottle and a brush and some paint and I'm wetting it down. I'm putting it on and then I'm gonna wipe it back, leaving it just where I want it. It'll leave a slight haze on the piece, which is really, really pretty, but it doesn't dull down the whole color. It'll leave it in the edges, which gives it a very unique look. You give this time to dry and then you'll flat coat this again for your final coat. and I got the transfer on, the stencil on, and everything else. I'm really thinking I don't need this pink anymore. So even though this was part of my original plan, again, that's what I said this video is about, doing different things and going through the process and how I work through the process. Even though I love this color, I think it's gonna be a little bit too bold on there. So I still wanted to bring in a tiny bit of pink. So I went back through my hardware and found this pretty pink rose knob. So that'll go on here and stay tuned to the end of the video because in just a second I'm going to show you this whole piece all done and how beautiful it all looks together. Thanks for joining me and make sure you click the little bell above so you can subscribe and get notifications when my next videos come on. You can follow me on other social media platforms including Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, right here on YouTube. You never know when I'm going to have a new video out or what I'm doing on any of those other platforms. I appreciate you all and I'll see you again soon. I absolutely love how this table turned out, even though it's not exactly how I pictured it in the beginning. I decided I didn't need any more of the pink. The handle was just enough. And I hope you guys are inspired to try the paint, pick out your colors. It's okay if you change your mind. It's okay if it's not exactly the way you thought it was gonna be in the beginning. You can make beautiful art and change your mind at the same time. We're all human and it's all part of the process. So go out there and be creative and I'll see you guys again soon.